So once we have seen the theory about REST API, let's try to implement that. But then before the implementation, of course, we should be knowing which tool we are going to use, right? So in this video, we'll discuss about the tools we require. So welcome back aliens, I'm Navin Reddy and let's get started. So what we are going to do now is we'll try to understand what are the tools we require. And as you can see, I have already using, I have already opened Eclipse here. Now question arises: which are the available options you have? Again, you can go with any one, any IDE which you prefer. Maybe you, if you are in love with NetBeans, if you are in love with IntelliJ, you can go with that. The same example which we are doing here will work there as well, right? So we have Eclipse, we have NetBeans, we have IntelliJ. So if you can just just go to the website, uh, so just search for Eclipse download. It will take you to the website and you can download the Eclipse from here, right? So if you can search for Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers, and yeah, so you have to make sure that when you download Eclipse, you have to make sure that you are going for Java EE version. Uh, it's because when you talk about Neon itself, Neon has multiple versions. As you can see, we have Java developers, uh, we have Java EE developers. The difference here would be, uh, since we want to work with REST API, which is a part of web development, so we, de we need some servers, right? And to add those servers, this Java EE developers version will give you the option. So I will go with this one, which is Java EE developers. And depending upon which platform you are working with, maybe Windows, Mac, or Linux, you can download a particular version. Now, once you download it, you just have to unzip it and you are good to go. So once you open Eclipse, this is how it looks like. So this is how your Eclipse looks like. Now, once you have, uh, you know, once you have downloaded the Eclipse and when you open the Eclipse, it will ask you for the workspace. You can mention any folder which you like. I just mentioned the workspace as YouTube and I'm good to go. And then we have to also make sure that you add a server. Now, again, I have a separate video on this on YouTube. Just search for a Telesco Eclipse and Tomcat. So it will give you the video where you can watch how do you connect this Tomcat with Eclipse. But still, if you want to check it out, so what, what I will do is I will just delete this part. I mean, okay, what, what you can do is it will not give you this option there. So it will not be having this Tomcat 8 by default. So you have to click on this. So there will be option of no server available. Click here. So just click on that. Uh, so same thing I can get here. Right click new and server. Now most of the time, you know, you don't get this server tab here. So for that, you have to make sure that you are in Java EE perspective. If you're not there, just click on this button, which is perspective and select Java EE. Now, luckily for my machine, it is by default. In your machine also, it will be by default, but in case if it is not there, just make sure that you are selecting a Java EE perspective and then go to window, show view. There is an option of servers. Now, when you click on this servers, it will give you this window, okay, the current window which you are working with. So right click and say new, click on server. And now out of all the servers, you can see when you open that, it will give you a list of servers here. And depending upon what type of plugins you have installed in Eclipse, this is not the new Eclipse I'm using. I'm using this Eclipse from a long time. So I'm getting option of Red Hat and all those uh, all those things. So if I open Eclipse, uh, Apache, uh, you can see we can have Tomcat 8 version, but unfortunately, okay, uh, I mean, uh, before doing all those things, you have to download Tomcat as well. Uh, so you have to go to Google and download Tomcat and then you can select and say next. It will ask you for the browse, where is the folder, just select that and you're good to go. Okay, so once you got Tomcat, once you got Eclipse, it's time to create a project. Now, to work with this project, what we'll be, what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a Maven project. Now, for this, of course, you should be knowing about Maven. And if you have not seen that, make sure that you have seen my Maven video. It's there on YouTube. Uh, so search for Telesco Maven. Uh, you will get some idea how to get a Maven project. But if you already know that, that's great. So say new and go for others. And let's say I want to go for a Maven project and say next uh we'll say next now which type of what type of archetype i have to use here now maven is famous for the those archetypes right in fact uh, if you want to create different kind of project maven will say okay you want a project i will give you the project don't worry so i will go to filter now i know that i want to build a jersey project now why jersey because to implement rest we have different implementation right and jersey is using is jersey project is one of the implementation Again, we'll be doing this in two steps. I mean, first we'll focus on Jersey and then we'll also see how to do REST API using Spring uh, using Spring MVC. So here, what I will do is I will search for Jersey and you can see we have lots of archetypes already available for Jersey. Okay, as you can see, we are getting lots of option here. 
but it is possible that these options are not available in your machine okay it is possible so in that scenario what you can do is okay when you search for this it may happen that your maven is not able to interact with the internet okay it, it, it may happen in that scenario what you can do is first you have to make sure go to eclipse go to preference and in fact it was not working for me so i did some changes so go to maven click on maven here and you have to select this four text you have to make this four text you have to say download archetype source download archetype documentation download repository index uh, i mean this is the main thing and then update maven project on startup so select all these things click on okay and you have to make sure that those four ticks are there and now create a project it should be working so i will say again a maven project I will say Maven project and then I will say next and I, I know I mean you know right we have to search for Jersey here okay we'll search for Jersey and okay so it is coming very fast on my machine because I've already done this in my machine uh, if you're doing this for the first time it may take some time so I want to go for a web project right so I will say Jersey quick start web project web app and click on next now it will ask you for the group ID as you know Maven so we'll say com .telisco. and the artifact ID for me is let's say demo uh, demo rest so that's my web application which I'm, I'm working here once you do that just click on ok and your job is done can you see that you got your jersey project and if I expand that not not this our tab if I expand this project we got SRC and we got a Java folder inside the Java folder we have com we have telisco okay this this project is still in building phase as you can see uh, they are still creating this project and this project is coming from the internet as you can see it is downloading everything here okay so it is downloading the just the dependencies whatever we need uh, and that's the beauty about maven you know if you are doing this in a normal project you have to add all the Java files by yourself you have to uh, create uh, you have to do some settings by yourself right thanks to maven it will give you the project so yeah that's how you create a project in the next video we'll talk about how we can write our first code in jersey and let's see let's do some uh, settings there so that's it guys that's our project building and as you can see the project is already built here i was supposed to stop this video but then it is already built uh, let's expand this java resources as you can see okay let's have a look on these things okay uh, so let's expand this and okay where is that so if i expanding it it is taking some time because it is downloading the source code as we have checked everything so let me just click on that once again it is taking some time as you can see by the time it gets open you can focus on your palm xml file which is the most important file for your uh, for any uh, any maven project right so if i double click that and my mach machine is working very slow now as you can see because it is downloading lots of things from the internet and it makes your system very slow and luckily I got a good machine otherwise if you are working on normal machine it does take lots of time okay so yeah so we'll talk about this we'll see how this works well so as you can see we got this project here it's working slow let me just check it out here what's going on behind the scene okay so it's taking some time so what I will do is I will stop the video here in the next video we'll discuss how this thing ex actually works so that's it from this video guys I hope you are enjoying this rest rest uh, I mean rest with me or rest jersey with me so do click on the like button and do share this video with your friends and do subscribe